So we already know how to persist the data and how to expose the post endpoint. And in this video, I would like to show you how to expose two get endpoints. The first one to expose all users from our application and the second one, which will be used to get the particular user by identifier or otherwise return the appropriate status code uh, if the user is not found. So with that being said, Let's create a new function inside the app user controller and call it get all. This won't take uh, any argument, so let's go with equals app user service dot get all. We don't have such a function inside the app user service, and what we can do is navigate on this name, hit alt with enter, and create a member. Function. This is pretty useful when working with IntelliJ IDEA and may really help you speed up your development. As the return type right here, I would like the app user to be returned. We can delete actually this one, go with equals app user repository find all. Sorry, change the return type. This is the mutable iterable. Um, other, I would like this to be uh, converted to list. So what we have to do here invoke to list on our function. Let's get back to controller. You can hit control and be navigated directly to the line where it is invoked. What we have to do here is to specify to what HTTP request type should we respond with this one. Shift plus F10, stop and rerun. Let's wait for the application to start. And with that being done, let's go to Postman. Let's create a new. We can copy actually this value. We can leave the get, hit send. And we can see that 200 OK status and the list of user which we've created in previous video is returned. What we would like to do now, expose a new endpoint to, verify, to get only one user. To do so, let's get back to application, select this, Ctrl plus D, this might be useful and help you spare some time, get by ID. This time I would like to specify slash and we'll have to perform a binding between the value that user passes here and map it to appropriate argument. This way, Micronaut will be able to map the user requested value to our string argument right here without any annotation. Later, I'll show you how to change this and what to do if you would like this and this value to differ. Nevertheless, let's go with get by ID and it should take the string value as an argument. Again, alt plus enter create a member function and this time actually this should return only one app user. Let's replace that app user repository find by ID and specify the ID. Nevertheless, we can see that IntelliJ is complaining. So let's hover and see what's going on here. We can see that it found optional of app user, not the app user. So basically when we are searching for by particular ID in MongoDB, we can find or we can find not the user. This way, what I would like to introduce here is or else throw. So each time we don't find the user by ID, I would like uh, the REST API consumer to be informed that it the user was not found. So simply we can use an HTTP status exception class, which is really useful in Micronaut and allows us to avoid unnecessary redundancy and creating our custom types here. We can specify what HTTP status should be returned and the message. So I'll provide with a message that user with ID and string interpolation was not found. This way, if we don't find the user, then we should see this. Let's hit Shift plus F10, stop and rerun. Let's get back to Postman. We can even hit save right here, save it in whatever collection, example, and hit save. 
right here, duplicate tab. And this time I would like to provide some value which for which I will find the user. So let's go with this, put it here, hit send, and we got 200 OK because the user was found. Let's change that to D. And this time, again, the expected result is returned. 404 not found. We got the message that we've specified in our service. I have mentioned already, I would like to show you one interesting thing. What should we do if we would like these two values to differ? For example, this should be called whatever. Well, in such a case, let's define the path variable annotation add plus enter import and as a name we will have to perform the binding to avoid typos let's do it this way again rerun the application wait until it starts go to postman hit send and voila everything is working as expected so that's all for this video.